Hello everyone, welcome back to the DOS TV. If not the first time when you see this channel, make you know our car pass, make you like and share and subscribe. As you do that, may God bless you. All my amazing returning subscribers, you all are welcome for your amazing support. May God bless every one of you. I got the video one that I want to drop. What do I think about this video? Put it in the comment section. Please like the video, share the video. If you never subscribe, subscribe and press the bell so that me they join the movie train as they move. As you do that, may God bless you. I see you guys on my next video every single day, and I was focused. I knew my target. I knew what I was doing. I would tell them publish it. I don't care publish it because I know their agenda is to stop me. Everything they are doing was to stop me. I know it. And that I didn't waste my time addressing them. I was on target. I was focused. And then I achieved my goal. We don't have to be calling irrelevant people. Arguing. Arguing is not going to help in anything. Our people are under a demonic spell. This is an age-long spell. They started this process over a thousand years ago. It's not going to benefit our people if we keep on yelling and, and shouting and without giving them the tools. If somebody is sick, you give them medicine. You don't just uh, start yelling, why are you mad? Why are you? Every time you are headed, look at you are headed. Every time you're having headache, headache, what does he do for the person? What you're going to do, you say, you know what? This is this uh, 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 medicine here. Take it, it's going to cure your headache. If they say no, they don't want it. You leave them, you don't argue with them. You must take the medicine. You must no, and you can be yelling at them for having a headache. All you have to do is offer them the medicine. If they like, they take it. If they don't like, you move to the next person. So that is what we have to adopt. Everything that uh, 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 Sarido Kuba did to Mazen Nandika, he never spoke about. It. He never wasted his time talking about Sarido Kuba. Only on one occasion did he open his mouth. That is when we knew about the 20,000 uh, uh, naira uh, million that was given to him. That was the only time we knew. Everything that was Rike did and said, said to him, we never knew until the day he re revealed about how they stripped him naked, humiliated him, peed on him. Women were peeing on him and they were taping it, videotaping it, took pictures. We, we never, he never stopped him. As soon as that incident took place, the next time he was uh, on the microphone preaching, did he start crying or calling their names or yelling about them? No. He knew what he wanted to do. He knew that their plan was to stop him. Our leader didn't allow anybody to stop them. Everything. Now we know about which MFO. Everything that happened, our leader never took his time, precious time, the time that he has with his people. He never wasted it on irrelevant people, irrelevant issues. He only talked about Richard for just one time. After too much pressure, he said one thing, and that was it. There is nothing like uh, the office of the deputy, this and that. He was a, he's very strategic. He was strategic in everything that he did. That is what we need to adapt if we adopt, if we need to reach our people and help our people. Our people are under a spell. Even the names of the people you are calling, they're under a spell. Do you think they can help themselves? If they, can, if they are not salvageable, if they cannot be redeemed, you forget about them and then address the people who, can, who are redeemable. We need to be focused. We don't, these people, all they do is to distract and waste our time. Mazen Nandekano never allowed anybody to distract him. He was razor sharp focused. He did what he needed to do. So our people are under a spell, under a bondage. They don't even know what they're doing. Our job is to teach them when you get up in the morning, come outside, remove your shoes, stand on the ground, look at the rising sun, face the rising sun, use your mouth and speak. That is what we need to teach them. We teach them to do it every day. When they hear it and hear it, and hear, one day they will try it. And once they try, that person is liberated. If I'm calling one fool that was paid to distract what I'm doing, I'm keep on calling their name. When will I have time to teach my people what to do? I'm telling them if you're a woman, if you're a man, 
if you, especially if you go to the village anytime you get the opportunity to travel to the village this is what you need to do call upon your ancestors use your mouth to speak that is how this spell is going to be broken instead of arguing with the person instead of arguing with the people that have sold their souls to the devil instead of letting them stop this message we need to focus on setting them the strategies to liberate our people that is what we need to focus on our leader called it you will see peeling a uh, uh, what melon melon seed that's not no we're freedom fighters there are times to do that but not all the time especially we edu people we've passed that stage what we are focusing now is on our people there's revolution coming it's already in the air we need to focus our attention on teaching them what they need to be prepared for this revolution not as addressing such a flyer that is the job is the, they send such a fly to distract us they send such a fly to destroy my zen and can destroy my make sure that what he did uh, 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 is not going to come to pass people we are calling but you are the one who was crying and advocating for him uh to be uh, uh to be on radio be friend. i said because he had an assignment his assignment doesn't have to be positive but he's the one that will do what he needed to do when i was working with him i didn't start crying oh look at what he did to me. no i moved on he did his job his job was to stop me why would i help him finish up his job no he did his own assignment my assignment was to move on and do what i needed to do and that's why i remained focused that's what we need to be doing please let's continue to teach our people this is who you are you don't have to argue with the person you are an idu person no i'm not idu. you are you're wasting your time no, you are an idu person, and this is what you need to do. Wake up, call upon Chukwu Kikabiam, call upon Ada, call upon Idu, call upon all our ancestors, call upon all the gods. They will ask you, so how do I do that? You teach them how to do that. If they don't want to listen, you move on. We are the liberation stage. We don't have this time anymore. There's no time for that. There's no time for Sada. I'm going to keep on saying it until we understand it. When you come out, make sure you are giving our people what they need. These people are under a spell, under a bondage. Just like Brahaisen reminded us, when the people of Israelites were under a spell, these Fulanese, the British, these Portuguese, all these world powers that are against us, they do these spells every day. They use our blood, the blood of Hindu people, to renew their spell, to renew this bondage. You can be crying. Uh, Igbo people are this. Igbo pe Do Igbo people know what they are doing? They are under a bondage. They are under a spell. Our leaders say these people are cursed. So how are you going to help Igbo people? By teaching them what they need to do. By the time you teach 100 people, maybe 10 people will do it. By the time you teach another 100, 10 people will do it. And those 10 will help teach other people. Instead of whining about some useless, homeless uh, girl somewhere saying stuff. And then some uh, uh, useless people that call themselves. A we don't have time for that. Mazin Nadikan is our role model. And we have to do what we need to do. We can't keep yelling on our people and crying. They don't know what they're doing. When somebody is in, under a bondage, they don't know. When somebody is crazy on the street, they don't even realize they're crazy. It's your job to take them to a psychiatric hospital, not yell at them for being on the street and being crazy on the street. So we need to teach our people one key thing use your mouth and liberate yourself from this bondage by the time we say it 10 10 times there's going to be that one time that is going to click and they will do it they will realize they are not the uh, 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 the, B, the B word and they will go and look for the flyer and declare who they are they will use their mouth to start speaking up they will use their mouth to start getting ready for the revolution because it's going to happen that is my final statement please let us be strategic the enemy is doing everything to distract us and to stop us we will never allow them to stop us or to distract us when you have 10 minutes make that 10 minutes useful don't use it to address some some irredeemable soul some souls that are already lost and looking for who uh, to drag with them what you're going to do is to save those souls they want to uh, uh, drag to and die with them that is what our leader that was how our leader has operated and that is why he was successful please my people go and check your lineage if you're from the lineage of onoja you have an assignment to do 
Figure out what that assignment is. Use your mouth to say it. Use your mouth to speak it. When you come out, if you can, when the sun is rising up, you come out and speak. Speak, your words are powerful. Because your great ancestor has that power. This revolution is going to be led by somebody from that lineage. So if you know you're from that lineage, you don't have time to be talking about this person I'm talking about. What you have time, you go in prayer and say, ask God, so what do I need to do? You don't have to do it in public. Because that is how to help liberate our people. They are under a spell. They are confused. Haman was casting a spell on the children of Israel every night for 365 days. It only took three days of prayer by uh, Esther. Do you think Esther was crying? Esther was using his mouth to reverse everything that Haman said. She was using her mouth to counter it. She was using her mouth to speak it out, counter it. That was only three days. And then the spell was broken and their eyes opened. That is what we need to do. Teach our people the skill. Don't cry over spilled milk. It's already spilled. Teach them how to go get another cup of milk. That's what we need to be doing. Please, when you wake up, call upon the great, our great ancestor. Call upon Chukwu Kikabian. Call upon Ada. Call upon Idu. Call upon our, all our ancestors. Call upon your great, great grandfather. Call upon the gods of our land. You see people running around, getting uh, having a uh, native doctor. They say they are writing names of native doctors. They say they are uh, destroying shrines. Why do you think they are doing that? Because what you are doing is effective, is powerful. You need to teach more people how to do that. When they come out, they speak. The word, this tongue is so powerful. There is no, there is nothing, there is no spell that is not broken by spoken word. When you understand who you are, you use that power and speak. That is what we need to teach our people. Not to argue with irredeemable souls. These people who have sold their, they've been paid. Their job is to distract you. To make you not say the, what you need to say. If you're yelling at, the, at somebody, they're not going to be able to listen to you. To get what you need. The tool is what we need to give to our people. Declare who you are. Make that declaration seven times. People asking you about you do when you when you're honest with your whole heart, call upon you do seven times and see what happens. People have testified. You do will show you that he's the she's the archangel. If you don't see it, you will sense it. So why are you going to argue with people back and forth? You do is a shrine. You do say, who has time for that? We don't have time for that anymore. We're about to raise our flag. We've raised our flag already. We're about to raise it for the whole world to see. And this is the time to wake our people up, not to argue with fools and people that don't count for anything. Mazin Nandikano never wasted his time on people that didn't count. The Nina, uh, Tony Nadi will call our leader's name every single day just to get to distract him. He never paid him attention. We've already moved, in, moved on. God has separated us and we need to be focused. Please wake up. Call upon our God. Declare what you want. Declare how you want this new nation to be. That is what you need to do. Don't pay attention to people who want to gossip, people who want to distract you. But we are already past that stage. The past stage of teaching and no, everybody knows the truth. We know who we are. If somebody is paid to distract you, you are making more money for them when you allow them to distract you. If you are getting distracted, the person that is paying them will know that they are effective. And they will pay them more to distract you. But if it doesn't matter, if what they are saying doesn't count for anything, after a while, the person will stop paying them. And you will not see them anymore. If yes, my people, we don't come to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please share the video. Don't forget to subscribe and press that bell. See you guys for my next video. Bye-bye.